Hello, thank you for joining me. Uh, in this video, which is going to be our last video on how to put together a floor plan in our week three uh, series of exercises we need to do for AutoCAD, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to emulate the first floor, copy that, and make a second floor floor plan of that, and create two different tabs, two different layouts down here so we can print out one floor and print out the second floor too. So let's do this. Let's take our design center since we're kind of done with that right now. We're going to go ahead and close that, give us a little bit more room. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy everything that's on that first floor to make a second floor out of that. So uh, one thing to keep in mind is we still have our uh, still have our polygons, our polylines that make up the exterior of the house. So it's, a re it's relatively easy to copy that. And we're going to copy the dimensions that go with it too. What we're not going to do is copy uh, some of our blocks in the interior walls because we want the second floor to be a little bit different than the first floor. Uh, one thing you might want to do if you've already put stairs in here, like the spiral stairs, or maybe made your own stairs, you might want to copy those over the two since the stairs are going to be pretty much in the same location. So go to the copy command. This might take a little bit of iteration to kind of get the distances right, but I think 200 feet might work out okay, so I'm going to type in 200, single quote, and then enter. Yeah, and that kind of puts it over here. So what this does is it gives you the opportunity to take essentially the same floor plan that was the first floor to make a second floor out of it. Maybe the second floor won't have as many rooms and won't have all the space over here. Like, for instance, maybe this area up here is going to be a deck, a second floor deck. So you can do that and maybe shrink that down by the appropriate amount by using your stretch command or delete some things if you desire. You can do that too. So I'm going to make that maybe 10 feet less and uh, kind of go from there. So that's how you would do the second floor, but how do you print these things out? Well, right now we have a size layout, which just shows the first floor. You want to make sure that you have that in place. And before you make the, you know, copy the second floor, you do want to make sure that it still fits within the paper. So rather than doing the same thing twice, adjusting your dimensions and everything else for the first and second floor, if you do this first before you do that copy command uh, for the second floor, uh, it'll save you a little bit of time. But it does fit here, so I'm anticipating it'll probably fit on the, on the second floor. So after you go through your uh, title block and make your changes, it still says CMU here. It would say first floor floor plan. Uh, once you make those changes, then you can um, copy this tab and make a brand new tab. So let's do this. We're going to right click in the A size layout. First thing we want to do is we're going to rename it. So A size layout instead of A size layout. Oop, go back to rename. We're going to call that first floor. How you name it is up to you. It's up to uh, however you want to name it. Oh man, where'd that D come from? So A size first floor. And then guess what? We're going to right click in this. Move our copy. Create a copy. Move it to the end. And now we have A size first floor dash two. So we're going to have to rename that. Instead of... Uh, A size first floor, we're going to say A size second floor. So now they're identical. If you click in these two tabs, go back and forth between the two, they are identical. But this one we're going to change. So this is how you do it. There's a couple of different things you could do. Uh, one thing to keep in mind when you do this is you want to make sure that you have a reference between the first floor and the second floor. And there's an easy way of doing this. Let's just draw a line from like this corner here to the corner of our building. Just a simple line. This is all in paper space, and that will help with our alignment. Now we're going to take our viewport and stretch it. Stretch it out over here so it includes our second floor, and just our second floor. We're going to take this, viewport, move it, scoot in on this corner here. You may not be able to see it, but if we bring it into the black area, we can see it here. Take our viewport again. Go ahead and move it, and we're going to take this end point, that corner of that wall, and guess what? Drop it right on that line. Now we have that reference geometry out of the way. We have our second floor. Now if we go back and forth between our first floor and second floor, do a zoom extents. First floor, zoom extents. You'll notice that they are pretty well lined up. That's what you do. Go back into model space, go into your second floor, make your modifications, put your walls in there, put your furniture, and uh, you're a little bit more than halfway done at this point. So have fun with that. Any questions, please give me a call.